The fences slowly retract, presenting to the audience its humanized silhouette full of wires. People see him expressing different reactions from surprise to skepticism, yet leaving no one indifferent. He slowly raises hands, almost as if waving, before taking a couple slow, clumsy steps with his metallic glades. What I'm talking about here is a presentation September 30th, 2022 of the actual Tesla prototype robot, Optimus. This was a humanoid robot designed to replace humans in jobs that are dangerous, unsafe, repetitive, and also boring. Robots in advanced tech have always held a privileged place in the human imagination. We have all witnessed how science fiction has been filled with the famous humanoid style androids and robots, from the clumsy and comical C-3PO from Star Wars, to the implacable Terminator, movies, books, and TV series such as Chappie, iRobot, Ghost in the Shell, Astro Boy, or The Bicentennial Men, these have all depicted wonderful future worlds of full, incredible technological advances where humans and robots coexist. A future that felt distant and unreal for a long time, but that, little by little, seems a bit closer. Is it really decades away from becoming a reality? Or are we just very close? Is a Tesla bot destined to take humans away from dangerous or repetitive tasks? Go ahead, join the video, and find out. The history of the Tesla bot dates back to the first AI day, an event that the company that brought the electric car to the eyes of the world held in mid-2021, sharing several previews of their projects and ideas with the public. During this AI day, this is when the announcement of the Tesla bot was made. This was one of the most outstanding previews that Tesla had had. During AI day, Tesla only presented a model plus a couple of specifications of what was intended to be the final result of a humanoid robot manufactured to weigh between 56 to 57 kilos in weight, measuring 1.73 meters tall and operating with the same automatic driving system implemented in the cars and also becoming a new alternative for performing repetitive and alienating tasks in homes or businesses. Surprisingly, just one year after the model was presented, Tesla showed the first two prototypes of the robot we know today by the name of Tesla Optimus during the AI day in 2022, where its humanoid figure took the first step to the eyes of the world, walking, waving to the audience, and even performing a small, albeit arrhythmic dance. The design may have been a bit disappointing for some, after all, its movements were quite slow and clumsy and its design was far from the levels of delicacy and aesthetics of the concept presented a year ago. However though, in taking into account the almost non-existent history of Tesla and the manufacture of robots of this type, in the short time the company took much bigger and more advanced steps at the level of engineering and technological development than many of us were expecting. It is worth noting that, at least in a sense, Tesla Incorporated is not exactly a novice in robot development. Both Musk himself and some of his engineers even see the design of a robot like Optimus as simply as going from a robot on wheels to one that walks on two legs. This thinking is not too far from reality as the robot is able to analyze and understand its environment in a very precise way. Sensing depth, identifying individual objects and even interacting with them are some of the things that Optimus is already able to do using the artificial vision system of the Tesla Autopilot, an artificial intelligence system implemented in its vehicles that uses cameras and other systems to enable them to drive automatically and independently. During the AI Day demos, Tesla presented Optimus performing some tedious and repetitive tasks, such as transporting boxes, handling metal bars, or watering plants. Activities that despite being performed rather slowly, the robot was able to execute with care and delicacy. In fact, to this day, the company already has a copy of Optimus working alongside its human staff at its Fremont factory, where engineers are polishing and improving its design to make it a useful active part of the factory's workforce. It's worth mentioning that this was not the company's only humanoid robot prototype. Immediately after they showed a second model, more stylized and similar to the concept presented in 2021, 
and with more stable and graceful movements. Although unable to walk, since for the time being, this second model on which the versions of the robot they did not intend to sell will be built was only ready from the waist up. It's not precisely the level of complexity or precision of movements that has made Tesla's robot the center of attention in the industry. After all, we have been seeing great advances in this field for some time. Without going any further, we have the popular Atlas model of the Boston Dynamics Company, recently acquired by the South Korean automaker Hyundai, which has become viral on social networks after appearing in numerous videos performing jumps, spins, dance routines, obstacle courses and other feats typical of athletes of enormous level. And this is in addition to having an incredible K9 model as a spot, which would make the Tesla model seem, I mean at least, mediocre. The real key to fundamental transformation of society that must declare that these robots would end up representing, which also made them walk quite fast, taking into account their scarce references at this point, are mainly the price of production, the hand design, and software. In this same aspect, Tesla seems to have a clear intention to follow the same path that made him one of the leading companies in the electric car industry and also seems to be following in the field of exploration and space travel. To turn a product that is difficult to manufacture, expensive and unfamiliar to people, and being able to make it something capable of mass production that is not too expensive to produce and that is within the reach of almost anyone, is really impressive which is why he has the attention of most. We've seen Elon over the last few years going from the expensive and exclusive Tesla Roadster in 2008 to the more or less affordable Model 3 a decade later. In fact, unlike the first one, the second Optimus model presented was made entirely with the parts designed by the company and not acquired by third parties, as Musk did years before with his space rockets for SpaceX. Musk's goal with the humanoid robots is that they can be manufactured in large quantities and released to the public with a selling price of about $20,000. This is a huge difference considering that the cost of a Boston Dynamics spot model is just over $200,000 within an estimated of three to five years. And although it is well known that the delivery times are not Elon's forte, the fact that they had so much progress in the development of this project in just one year gives food for thought. Another point, is that the care that the engineers have put into the development of the hands made to faithfully emulate those of human beings, allowing them to interact with the world, a world that, after all, we have created with and for our hands, the company even aims to make optimists capable of manipulating tools in the not too distant future. Finally, there is a robot software, as well as an interesting array of tools, such as a 2.3 kWh battery, enough energy to operate a full day after a few hours of charging, Wi-Fi, 5G connection, audio and security features, both physical and computing, as well as daring to declare that sooner rather than later, we could interact with robot programs to be less robotic and more friendly, and even learn to emulate humans. The possibilities related to this robot and the opinions about it are varied and different. From those who expect the Tesla bots to be the beginning of a relentless consumer market and to start an exciting race to get as many pieces of the robotics market pie as possible. That robots will end up replacing people in thousands of places and jobs around the world, causing the disappearance of millions of jobs and the birth of many others, to the fact that everything ends in a resounding failure for the company and its shareholders. Predicting the future of this technology, both in terms of market and social impact, it's difficult. Since the revolution that Tesla represented in the world of renewable energies and electric cars winds the emergence of many companies of this type of vehicles, as well as the rapid acceptance of these vehicles by becoming symbols of progress or status in the birth of a large number of jobs in this sector. Of course, this does not imply that the robot industry will follow suit and things could go terribly wrong. It's still too early to predict anything. But if one thing is certain, it is that we are facing an innovation that promises to be talked about for a long time to come. So what do you think? Do you think robots will end up being part of our society? Will they end up leaving us without jobs? 
Will this be the beginning of a Terminator style machine war? Just share your thoughts and your opinions with us in the comments. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notifications. Like I said before, until the next video, I'll see you guys soon.